Welcome to Tabletop Gaming Guild. Today we will be looking at Robin Hood and His Merry Men, published by Final Frontier Games, and designed by Ivana Kristemski, Vojkan Kristemski, Maya Mataska, Martin Poole, and Tony Tushemski. This rulebook is on the long end, but it's a good balance between text and images. I do like how on the back page they have a reminder section to refresh yourself on the rules if you haven't played in a while. This is a Kickstarter that was on the height of the multi-function games where they were adding alternate modes. That, you know, most of them didn't work as well as the main mode. Player aids are always useful. It's nice to see one for every player so you don't have to pass it around. Although, it seems a little complicated here. A lot of information on these. Nice large tile tokens uh, punch out super easily and nice and cleanly. Good quality. Okay, the game board. It's not double-sided. Not, not a big deal. It's nice to be double-sided, but not essential. But it's a very nice looking board. I guess, actually, this was part of the selling point on the Kickstarter was how nice this game looks, and it's mainly down to this board. These are some high-quality player boards, dual layers. Things don't slip around. If this art looks familiar, that's because it's by Mahajalo Dimitriski, who also did the art for a lot of the Sham Phillips games, so Architects of the West Kingdom and such. I am slightly concerned by the amount of iconography I'm seeing. Hopefully it's relatively simple to figure out. We'll see. Overall, I, I love the art style, and it matches perfectly with this theme. Even better than the West Kingdom theories. While some of the art does repeat, there's certainly a lot of unique pieces of art in this game. And I love the art. Uh, my only concern, as I mentioned earlier, is hopefully the art and aesthetics doesn't override functionality. We'll have to, I'll have to play it to see. Even these card backs are so nice and so detailed. And we got a slew of components here. We have what looks like DNA helixes. I'm guessing they're barricades or something like that. We've got carts full of goods for you to waylay and pilfer. And of course, meeples of every color and tools and resources. Bear in mind this is the deluxe version, so if you're getting the standard version, you'd just be dealing with cubes and cylinders. These look like various goods you can pilfer. Pretty easily identify what each is. And here we have the deluxe version of the various meeples. And nice quality dice here in set, so you don't have to worry about the icons rubbing off, which is pretty standard nowadays. A couple draw bags. The opening seems a little small. For big hands, it could be a little bit hard to grab things out of here. I always appreciate them including baggies to put things in. In fact, I'm kind of annoyed when they don't, so good to see here. And the typical overly elaborate first player token. And that looks like it's it for the components of Robin Hood and his Merry Men. Overall, this is a pretty game with a lot of mixed reviews. I'll have to play it to find out how much of it's true, but it sounds like there's going to be a lot of having to house rule to fix uh, incomplete rules or unbalanced mechanics. And typical of big Kickstarter games like this, there's many, many people who really love it and a fair number of people who have issues with it. It's just a question of whether the having spent so much on the Kickstarter biased positive reviews, or is it really a good game with a few little flaws? Well, thank you for watching. Please join us again for more unboxings, reviews, previews, and playthroughs.